September 2009 with the hacking of a server at the Climatic Research Unit at the University of East Anglia by an external attacker. Several weeks before the Copenhagen Summit on Climate Change, an unknown individual or group breached Gros server and copied thousands of emails and computer files to various locations on the Internet. The story was first broken by climate change critics on their blogs, with columnist James Dillingpole popularizing the term climatogate to describe the controversy. Climate change critics and others denying the significance of human-caused climate change argued that the emails showed that global warming was a scientific conspiracy, in which they alleged that scientists manipulated climate data and attempted to suppress critics. The accusations were rejected by the CIU, who said that the emails had been taken out of context and merely reflected an honest exchange of ideas. The mainstream media picked up the story as negotiations over climate change mitigation began in Copenhagen on 7 December. Because of the timing, scientists, policymakers, and public relations experts said that the release of emails was a smear campaign intended to undermine the climate conference. In response to the controversy, the American Association for the Advancement of Science, the American Meteorological Society and the Union of Concerned Scientists released statements supporting the scientific consensus that the Earth's mean surface temperature had been rising for decades, with the AAS concluding, based on multiple lines of scientific evidence that global climate change caused by human activities is now underway. It is a growing threat to society. Eight committees investigated the allegations and published reports, finding no evidence of fraud or scientific misconduct. However, the reports called on the scientists to avoid any such allegations in the future by taking steps to regain public confidence in their work, for example by opening up access to their supporting data, processing methods and software, and by promptly honoring freedom of information requests. The scientific consensus that global warming is occurring as a result of human activity remained unchanged throughout the investigations. Timeline of the initial incident The incident began when a server used by the Climatic Research Unit was breached in a sophisticated and carefully orchestrated attack, and 160 MB of data were obtained including more than 1,000 emails and 3,000 other documents.